Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about a problem that I've been facing for a long time, which is color shifting after exporting the video. So when I'm working on a project, the color looks pretty cool. But after exporting the video, I can see the color has shifted a little bit. It is looking like a little bit washed out. So today I'm going to show you how I can solve that issue, right? So here you can see I have worked on that project that is the project that i have uploaded yesterday after exporting that video you can see the color has shifted a bit and it is a bit washed out so to avoid that what you can do the first thing that you can do you can go to your edit menu and from here go to preference if you're using uh, mac then go to your premiere and then you'll see settings from there you can go to color section and from this option you have to enable display color management that is the first thing that you can do so if that doesn't solve that issue you need to add another qt gamma compensation lut so what does that qt gamma compensation lut do so it will add color information when it is exporting by default adobe premiere pro is exporting the video for broadcast industry and broadcast industry doesn't support the full color spectrum that is why when we export any video it looks a little bit washed out we want to upload our video on social media and we want to use the full color spectrum that is why we need to use a qt gamma compensation lut i'll put a link in the description below just go to that link and download that lut and go to your export menu press ctrl then m and from here just rename it maybe corrected bit sync and from here select maybe match source adapted high bit rate preset and go to the fx menu right under fx menu you'll see lumetri color or lut from here you need to add that qt gamma compensation lut click here and then select and navigate where you have downloaded that file that is a dot cube file so i have downloaded it on my download folder and from here this is the qt comma compensation dot cube just click open so here after adding that lut and this is the before so you can see after adding the lut it is looking when i was editing the video it's looked the same but if i don't add it it is a little bit washed out so just enable effects and then export that video so after exporting the video you'll see the color looks the pretty same so if i go here and now this is the before applying the qt gamma compensation lot but if i go here and then play the corrected bit sync this one so if i go to the beginning you can see the color is looking the same when i was editing the video so that is the thing that you can do if you face that issue like me when you are exporting the video uh, i'm using mac and windows and on my both system i'm facing this issue it wasn't an issue when i was using premiere pro 2024 or 2023 but when i have installed adobe premiere pro 2025 i'm facing that issue so let me know in the comment section below if you are facing the same issue and if you have a better solution also let me know in the comment section below maybe i can learn that and maybe i can make a separate video on it so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye 